We arrived at the end of our road trip through Montenegro. We only explored about 50% of the country, but are constantly amazed by our beauty. Join our journey as we leave the Lukavica mountain plateau and set off to Dumito Park, an adventure that this ended not as we had planned. My pregnancy changed our course a little bit, but still we found those amazing, secluded and breathtakingly beautiful pieces of nature. Our final road trip episode before we set sail again. Hello! Is there someone? It's over there. Uncle. In the chair. Oh, spaghetti. Ah, you want spaghetti as breakfast? Yeah. You're the spaghetti eater. Yeah. Are you from Italy? Yeah. Yes? Yes? Yeah. Benjamino. When I come, you're gonna throw snowballs at me. Snowballs! Yeah! Ah! Snow fire! Jackpot! <laughs> So typical Rianne, always challenging. So she challenged, she said, okay, we need to find a sled for Benjamin so he can go down. So she was talking about a wooden plank, but maybe this is gonna work. So let's see. Okay, Ben, are you ready? to leave the Heidi feelings behind, the Heidi vibe. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing over here. It's unfortunately we couldn't get to the lake, but um, yeah, just being on this mountain plateau is uh, something special. A little to no tourists, so that is great. We have seen actually nobody, so that's great. And now we're off to Tumito Park and uh, it's a national park and it's should be amazingly beautiful, so let's find out.
as we are enjoying ourselves and the company of Benjamin on this field filled with beautiful flowers, we once again realize that our greatest wealth is spending time together and making memories. A lifestyle we worked hard for and have manifested for years, something that is very special to us. Little moments of tremendous gratitude and joy, living in the moment, because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Okay. Is that a moi from Mama? You want a big one? Yeah. I'm still a big one. I'm a big one. Yes. And you found a route. Yeah. And it's only dirt road. And yes. it's, it's gonna be three hours? Yes. It looks like this. Yeah, so Jan is driving with the pregnant belly yeah. and the clutch of the Land Rover is very heavy, so here we go. I found this off the beaten track road, it brought us to places where no men drive anymore. These are definitely the less traveled roads. And while driving here we got swept away from reality and brought to the feeling of living in a children's book, taking us from one mountain plateau to the other without seeing a living soul. Except at the end of this untraveled road where we found a local who was extremely kind and gave us directions to a mesmerizing waterfall. Well, this made our fairy tale children's book complete. So I don't know how far I'm comfortable with walking down. But I'm going to try to come as close as possible. It is magnificent. In the Netherlands you have no waterfalls. So we are always addicted and amazed by uh, waterfalls.
de Terivier. Ja, heel leeg. En wij staan nu hier. And we are here uh, next to Tara River and in the second largest canyon of the world. So after the Grand Canyon in Colorado, this is the biggest canyon here in, uh, in Montenegro. And it's really one of the most beautiful parts, I think, of the Dumitar National Park, the Tara River. Yeah. Meet the Tear of Europe, the most beautiful and cleanest river in this part of the world, which leaves many and us as well breathless. There is this impressive bridge, the Tara Bridge, built between 1937 and 1940. The sea is 172 meters above the river. This bridge, at the time when it was finished, was the biggest vehicular concrete arch bridge in Europe. The bridge has always been a great inspiration to many artists and its magnificent beauty are admired by renowned architects and engineers. It becomes very obvious when you drive across the Tara Bridge that it was built more than 80 years ago. Once you start crossing from one side to the other, the road is not too wide, but it is the most important connection in that area. In that time, the Tara Bridge was considered the most beautiful bridge in the Balkans. So beautiful that, according to one of the legends, it is believed the fairies helped build the bridge. Structures like these inspire us in our daily lives and remind us that everything gets created twice. Once in our minds and the second time in reality. Without strong will, perseverance and pivoting, it is hard to manifest that what others can't see or understand. But one thing we learned the last years all of us are able to manifest almost anything and everything, as long as we also practice acceptance that some things can't be changed, but what we can change is how it affects us, and we can be creative to find ways to make it work even though it turns out to be totally different than what we first imagined. So after crossing the Tower Bridge, we are now on our way to find Spot? <laughs> the camp spot next, next to Tara River and Rihanna was Google Mapsing to find a ray next to a ruin. So uh, yeah. Hey Rihanna, we So, is this the place? Yes. When we go down, there's a lot of stones, but I think it's near the river. So, let's check it out. If this is the place, because we want to camp next to the river, but the car should be horizontal as well. Wow, this is it's magic. Look at this. Look at the color of the water. But I'm not sure if we're gonna camp here. We can camp here. Maybe if I put Lily like this. Let's see.
So we can go. Okay. But there's a lot of stones over there. Okay. So if we go backwards then the tent is on the wrong side. Okay, here we go. I'll remove some stones. we just put one rock underneath the left front wheel and then we leave it we do not dare to go any further do we we make a ramp yeah. i think we need to make a ramp but isn't that a good one that one right that one that one yeah oh yeah it's why you can drive on easily yeah With my nice shoes. <laughs> thank you, Roy. Yeah, thank Roy for giving me your touch when I was completely broke and couldn't buy any <laughs> shoes anymore. Okay? Yes? Well, let's try again. Always exciting with the Gerben on a road trip. We always the, makes the impossible possible. Almost straight, but it's good enough. Cleopatra. <laughs> yes. How is Cleopatra doing? Good. Greek goddess Cleopatra, what else? Um, Jackie. No, no, an Amazon. Amazon? Yeah, I only missed the horse, but I would run with the horse through the water <laughs> around the canyon. There, you can horseback ride here actually. Okay, can you catch the camera? It's raining. Yeah. yeah, but still it's very beautiful to be here. It's yeah. the first time I don't care if it rains when we're camping. Oh, you want your own? You want your own tire of water? Yeah. Oh! My man healed yours. Are you very thirsty? Yeah. Okay. I will, I will take some water from the river. Come on, drink it. And do you like the water? Goat. It's Tara water. No goat. Tara water. Goat.
train? I had the feeling it was raining, Ooh, raining all this all night long, but it was just the river. <laughs> and it was actually quite soothing. And uh, it's so beautiful. And if you look at how the mist is coming from the river, it's a little bit cloudy today. I think it will stay that way. But it doesn't matter because it's still a very magical spot here. So we're gonna do some breakfast, wash ourselves in the river, maybe do a little bit of exploring around here, and then uh, we're off again. Yeah, Benjamin. Benjamin. Do you can see? I don't know. It's coming from inside your nose. Yeah, yeah, he, he really oh. punched me. <laughs> Benjamin is now in the fighting mode. He really wants to hustle with Gerben, but sometimes he's a little bit too excited. So oh, yeah, uh, he punched Gerben in the nose this, all, this morning, but it's really fun to see. I will see if I can catch it on camera next time. And Gerben has, of Gerben, Gerben, Benjamin has his umbrella magic umbrella it's a magic umbrella he can turn people into babies and into persons again monsters. and into monsters and into dinos right your magic umbrella ben what are you gonna do okay oh please you can do it finding uh, little animals I've never seen in my life. I'm a little bit afraid of touching it because maybe they are poisonous, their skin. So, but Benjamin is really just looking and very sweet and he loves it. He wants to take it with him at home. But I said, that's not possible, but it's really sweet. He keeps saying. Oh, be careful. So, what's for breakfast? <laughs> Our regular oatmeal and, as Benjamin calls it, a chocolate soup. Chocolate which, soup? Yes, which is a chocolate uh, smoothie <laughs> with banana and dates and uh, coconut milk. Some healthy food. Everything. Now I know why you are doing it at my side. Yes. Everything costs a lot more time and effort <laughs> when living it from a car than uh, from a boat. But that also makes it more enjoyable. You have to work harder for the things you create. I want to take the bottom piece off, but I have all sticky fingers. So maybe you can do it. with a little 
little bridge. So we're going to take it with us. Time to freshen up? Yes. In the Tara River? I think it's cold. It is. Well, I know it's cold. It is. It's end of life. Yes. How is it? Cold. Freezing balls. <laughs> okay, you're going for it. Yes. <laughs> I was up until my knees, but uh, I felt my blood pressure rushing, so I don't think it's the best thing to do right now in a pregnancy. <laughs> Lake from Piva Lake and that's amazing. We are going through Durmitor and then we're gonna end the road trip and go head back to the boat, relax a little bit and start sailing. Yeah and of course sailing isn't easy as well but it's totally different than living out of the car and every time a new finding a new spot and it's, it's home right? Yeah it's home and it's not that exhausting as the no, because you've got a captain yeah. and you have your own bed, yeah. so everything is organized. So, just up. I don't dare any further. We still have like five meters left. Yeah, because I'm afraid of heights, so yeah, that's my disadvantage. But look at this. This is Piva Canyon. So, and out behind there, there is Piva Lake. And we drove on it yesterday. And I was terrified, to be honest, because we drove on a dam and we will put the drone up today so we can show you. But it's yeah, it's breathtaking. And Over there is the border with Bosnia.
of the most beautiful roads we have ever driven and we've driven a lot in this Defender but this is just this is from this is just another level what do you think ah, this, is, this is crazy it's so beautiful even if I'm I'm afraid of height <laughs> so I have a lot of tension but look at the, all the tunnels and these are real tunnels real What do you think, Benjamin? You like? Gevaarlijk. Gevaarlijk? Dangerous? Take me to the danger zone, Benjamin. Benjamin, what are you doing? Thank you. This country makes me feel like James Bond. It's maybe that's the reason why I wear these white shirts all the time. But this is just amazing. You look here at the lake. There, and there is the artificial um, studum. Rihanna, what's studum in English? I don't know. I will look it up. So you have the high mountains, the lakes, extravaganza of Porto Montenegro with the super yachts, fast cars. Then you have really here back to basic, deep into nature, and of course, Rihanna, my own Bondley. So, what else can I wish for? Some healthy foodie for my pregnant bond lady. Here you go. Six and a half hours later. We're back on the boat. We decided to just continue straight to home and look at this lady. Mm -hmm. She feels much better, more comfortable, home, there is a glow again. Mm -hmm. So, no, we had an amazing road trip. Yes. It was really beautiful. Every place we camped, we stayed one night, it was breathtakingly beautiful. Yeah. And everyone was so different. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so we fell in love with Montenegro again and again and again and again, again and again. Mm -hmm. So, but it's also for me the, um, the proof of the putting that we made the right choice to stay here. I, I, I didn't see the, the north, so I didn't see the snow part and the mountains. And I think that um, yeah, skiing will be amazing yeah. next winter. Yes, but to be clear, most of the time we will be sailing and yeah. we have some plans and we have some ideas and some projects and we don't know how we're gonna do it all but we know we will find a way it's yeah. like manifesting and attracting the right energy and people but the plan is still that we cross the atlantic that we go towards patagonia and then end up somewhere in the pacific that's our rough ideal sailing Black. adventure yeah okay that's it so thanks guys so more sailing next week sailing hardcore I hope, I, I hope there is some strong wind. I hope it's just champagne sailing. <laughs> Please let me know if you're with me or with Gerard. <laughs> strong winds! Champagne!